What's up guys? Um, this is like day whatever of the spoiler. I think I bit off more than what I could chew. Um, fitment issues. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going wrong with this thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. Um, right now I just got it not bolted on but placed in. I have to epoxy uh, quarter quarter 20 rods in. Um, I can't use I can't use the holes that are here on the end so I gotta do something. Because um, if you remember I had to cut this this deck lid and narrow it to fit the quarter skins that were uh, put on the rear valance that I didn't do but whatever that's neither here nor there. So I had to do some modifications. This side's not bad because I have it but uh, I gotta do something different with this one. Um, I still have globs of epoxy here that I have to, uh, as you can see the gap, I have to take off. And um, the ends here are, are proven to be very, very problematic. Um, I have to still have to work this, continuously work this to get it to look somewhat like uh, it's decent. Um, I might have to bring fill out here like this and across. But, that's not the problem. The problem is, is, as you can see, for some reason, I gotta, uh, I gotta work this edge here. I gotta, I gotta mold this to the contour of the back of this, um, uh, rear quarter skin. But, essentially, that's the look I'm going for, well, I'm trying to achieve, and, um, I don't know, it might be an abandoned project. I might just have to go out and spend 160 bucks or whatever it is for the one-piece spoiler for this car and just eliminate all the headaches. And I'm trying to make it work, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it's frustrating. I'm very close to taking a hammer to it all together and turning it into a bunch of shards. So we're gonna do a little bit of that today and we're gonna work on trying to get this thing in color. And uh, get get this done so uh that'll be my uh agenda for today not gonna do any body work on any of this stuff yet till i get this and that done i got way too many projects that i have finished you know um, i start a project i don't finish it i start a project i don't finish it you know so i have to finish at least one thing you know overwhelmed i'm very overwhelmed I don't know if anybody's like me. I don't know if I got ADD, but I get really interested in starting something and then midway through it just it loses its luster and I just I'll throw it on a back burner and then start something new. So uh, I really have to force myself to finish this and finish this. So once I get these two projects done, then I can continue on what I have to do on Bubba. And um, that's it. So throughout the day, I'll be bringing you back uh, here and there. Um, been watching some videos, not many, but uh, the whole Ruben and uh, Ruben and Anthony duel going there, that little challenge they have going on is pretty funny. If you guys haven't checked that out, it's, uh, it's uh, close to a, they're quite the, the characters. But, um, yeah, so enough of that. I will bring you back when I have some more to show. Enough of uh, telling. Now it's time to show. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Hey, progress, progress. Yeah, awesome progress. Yes, we're in color. Getting, getting there. I'm going to fog this with the silver afterwards. Nice, progress. I like it. Inside now, all ready to go. That's the first coat. We're going to do a second coat. And then... No progress. Um, the only thing I'm going to progress with, progress or progress with, I'm going to proceed to take this hammer, turn it around, and send it right through here, 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 here. I'm going to just, I'm going to turn it into Swiss cheese. Um, I had to walk away from it. So I said, I'm going to try working on a battery box now. And um, 
at least get something productive done. I had to relieve quite a bit of stuff here. I had to relieve this here because it was smacking hot up against this, and there was no way to there was no way to uh, to get it to uh, do what it was supposed to. And then, as you can see, this side I have to build this out follow that pencil mark so I can get this somewhat straight with the side of the car this has to be addressed too and then we go over to this side and that's not so bad you know it's following it but the radius here is, is sharper than the radius here and you can see it so I have to take that down, but in the process of me cutting this radius down, I'm going to be digging into that foam. So I got to put more mar glass on this thing. Um, like I said, I really cut this too. And granted, this car is going to be all black, so this is black and this is black. I mean, these lines would be kind of funky, but this this is what I had to do to get it to clear. So I was thinking about following this line right across the trunk lid, but then it's kind of I don't know. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't look right, so I went with this. I might have to refine this a bit. Um, then was the issue of, as you can see, the whack marks on here. I readjusted the latch, and I got this corner flush and this corner flush, and then I had a big bow here. Same thing here. This was flush. This is flush, and I still got a little bit of a bow. So what I was doing, I was just taking the, the wood and I. I whacked it down and I got it down pretty much, uh, pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is just gonna use mud and you know feather it in. And uh, same thing here. This actually was looking down. I actually put this wood in here and I closed the deck lid and I picked it up a bit. So I didn't really distort it too much. I might have to put some fill right here because that ramps up a bit. But it's looking good now. Like I said, I had to walk away from it. I was getting really frustrated with it and. Um, in the process of tightening up the uh, one of the uh, studs that I put in, uh, I spun one right out. It was right over here, so I'm gonna have to re-epoxy that, and then um, I got to re-establish holes here to get this to. As you can see, see the vibration here? That won't be good. So, but you see how it's cleared here, so it won't be really marring the uh, paint too much after I get it on. I'm gonna put the felt washes anyways on the studs so I have some sort of buffer and then I have to actually mar glass all this in here so it's all smooth kind of like this so when the trunk does go up you don't see this nastiness but it's it's really frustrating I don't know if you guys feel what I'm talking about picking up what I'm dropping but jobs like this get frustrating so but other than that, that's fine. It's still touching now, but when I get the weather stripping in, probably gonna pick this trunk up a bit more. See, that's locked. And I got clearance here. And I just gotta build this out to match what this fella's doing. And this has to be taken down a little bit more. But I'm walking away from it. We got this now. So, I got my first coat of black on there. What I'm gonna do is black. Then I'm gonna grab my uh, Starlight Silver and I'm gonna fog in the silver. Like, really have it bright silver at the base of the web and work my way back with it and fog it out to black. Then candy over everything. So, um, like from here will be all silver. Fog backwards with a fade. Silver faded back. And pretty much the same deal there. Um, and the same thing applies to the top. So we got one coat on, it's tacking off, flashing off, and I gotta go load up the gun and uh, do it again. So I'll be back in a bit. All right. Fog pattern is on. I got the Starlight Silver on the black. Now I'm gonna grab the uh, candy which was still the same mix from the fender wells that I did a while back so it should be relatively the same color throw them in the gun and uh, stop putting on some coats alright I will bring you back in a bit
All coats are clear. For some reason, this camera makes everything look so light in the screen. It's not that light, not in the trunk at least. Uh, and this bottle and these bottle straps, they fit each other, but this bottle that I did doesn't fit, so I don't know if I have to get a different size bottle because this one's taller and thinner and this one is short and stout. So uh, there's another thing for me to work on. I gotta see if I can get something done and made. Um, yeah, battery box is done. This is gonna take cap screws here. I just put it in the trunk. Everything's cleaned up. Carnage everywhere. Um, came out alright I guess um, at least I got one thing done the spoiler forget about it I'm not gonna finish it today what I'm gonna do is back the car back in close this trunk lid clean up a bit and go take the wife out or we're gonna go watch a movie so uh, that's it that's it for today but that's essentially the look of the trunk I like it. I like it with the battery box in there all tucked in nice and green and nasty. And uh, we're going to have stainless cap screws here and stainless cap screws there to hold it down. And uh, we're one step closer. So the Frank and Bubba here is starting to come to life. Um, I'm going to try to uh, mess with this a little bit more maybe tomorrow. Maybe not. Maybe I just might abandon it altogether. It's proven to be difficult. Um, trying to make stuff out of trying to make something out of nothing. And uh but I do like the look of it and I'll just persevere and just I'm just bitching. I'm just bitching. So this is Mark from the second gen. Look at this. Oh man. Well all my brothers out there. Everybody be safe and well. Have a nice, safe uh, Labor Day weekend. And um, Bubba's getting closer and closer to getting done. I might be getting some time off from work. I might take advantage of it. And uh, just really hit this thing hard before the cold weather sets in. It doesn't matter because I got the heat, so it's not bad in here. But... Um, Working with two cars in one garage is not cool, so I got Bertha out there, she's she's safe. So, tell me fellas, what do you think? I think it came out alright, I think it's gonna look okay. Alright fellas, this is Mark signing off, take care, peace.